Hello again everyone, Edwin Learn back once again in this YouTube Astrological Cycle. I'm going to be talking about uh, what I believe are going to be the luckiest zodiac signs for April 2024. Now, uh, you know, first, and yes, it does apply and pertain to the Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. Now, first off, well, Taurus, of course, because uh, Jupiter is going to be um, in their sign uh, for the whole month. Uh, the first house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. And for Taurus, well, this could be you know, very fortuitous and lucky, uh, poor of the self, uh, one's life, um, new projects and endeavors, uh, vitality may be increased. Um, this could be very auspicious for first impressions, and I would say especially if this is Taurus rising and Jupiter is traversing uh, one's actual uh, first house in the natal chart. If the uh, person has the sun in Taurus, and especially if you have the transit Jupiter make it a conjunction to their natal sun, it may be more auspicious for one's life, it really in general, in the vitality and energy which would apply with the sun and the ascendant, especially because the sun and the ascendant are both connected with energy uh, and vitality so and it can be a time which could be very prosperous for Taurus I mean Taurus is the sign of money Taurus people you know, generally have a very good uh, financial acumen and when you have a you know, transit Jupiter you know, being in Taurus and being in their own sign it may even enhance that and enlarge uh, that ability. But keep in mind that Jupiter still, as I've stated in previous videos, could be very paradoxical. It's strongly benign and benevolent, but it could also have a tendency to enlarge and expand, which can include the waistline. So you know, be careful this time, Taurus, as far as you know, overindulging in food um, and you know, way to drink because you know, it can, Taurus does have a propensity to put on weight anyway. Now for um, Aries, well, uh, Jupiter and Taurus, the, um, the second house is what's going to be emphasized and highlighted. So for Aries at this time, this could be a time which could be very fortuitous in terms of prosperity, you know, and the, um, you know, being in the house of money, you know, the planet connected with prosperity, and then you have the house of money involved. It can be also very propitious for the development of latent talents and abilities, you know, which may be Taurus related, whether it could be something with architecture, geology, banking, finance, um, agriculture, gardening, being able to work as a pawnbroker because of a, you know, the ability to ascertain you know, like value of items. And um, you know Venus and Aries. Venus is going to be in Aries for um, you know part of the month. So you know keep in mind you know that's you know that transit by itself can be auspicious for you know really um, you know, you're talking about popularity can be augmented for Aries. So that helps as well as far as that you know transit goes and the self love can be more pronounced and paramount. And when you love yourself more. You know, I, I believe it can be advantageous, you know, for so many avenues like aspects of one's life and being able to prosper, being able to do well and, and flourish and just, you know, various, you know, parts of one's life. So, you know, and, um, you know, Venus and Aries can also be about like original and pioneering artwork as well. So Aries may be drawn, you know, to the, the creation of this at this time. And, um, and also just again for the popularity, sociability at this time, it can be very positive for Aries. Now, Pisces, I would say, is the next one as far as the uh, luckiest zodiac signs for April 2024. You're going to have, um, Venus is going to be in Pisces for that early part of uh, April. And the thing is, uh, that's the first house, of course, being emphasized and highlighted, which can be you know, very um, positive and auspicious for money uh, made, income generated, um, connected with uh, new beginnings that could be Pisces related. And uh, some examples that could be dancing, poetry, photography, anesthesiology, spirituality, chemistry. Um, you know, things with illusion, such as working as a magician, or even something connected with the metaphysical, which includes astrology. 
And also you're going to have you know, Venus and Aries for part of the month as well. So you'll have the second house of money emphasized and highlighted at this time. And this is about, you know, you're talking about Venus being connected with money and the second associ second house associated with money and income generated. It could be making money, you know, doing something Aries related, you know, it could be doing something, um, some kind of work, you know, associated with carpentry, welding, maybe metals in general, you know, some of the speech pathology, um, something pioneering, innovative military work, you know, doing work that involves, um, you know, um, the head, you know, such as designing, you know, headwear, uh, helmets for like football, uh, helmets as some examples and you know some leadership position and the thing too is it could also be I mean when you look at the strands okay Mars is going to be in Pisces for at least um, part of this um, you know, month so when you have you're talking about Mars um, you know being in Pisces that could be auspicious for the energy level being augmented you know, Pisces is not exactly known for an abundance and surf fight of energy, but it can be a positive time for having you know, that energy and it could be doing just Pisces related things like I described uh, before. So now, um, last but not least, the Leo, um, I would say, could be one of the luckiest zodiac signs for April 2024 because you're talking about, okay, the transit of Jupiter and Taurus, the 10th house of career, is what will be emphasized and highlight 10th house is also about you know our social status our stature in life so it can be very positive for that as well it could be more about you know, having luck and prosperity in one's career and gaining more notoriety and recognition it could be doing something Taurus related whether it could be something with you know, geology architecture art music um, something with banking, finance, working as a pawnbroker, gardening, as some examples, or it could be simply that luck and prosperity in one's career coming through being uh, persistent, patient, persevering, tenacious, being um, expressing trustworthiness. You know, that could always be positive in terms of moving someone up the corporate ladder. And also, too, this could be about, you know, it could be luck and also the enlargement of Taurus qualities that may be hard to suppress. And that could be, you know, again, including you know, being patient, persevering, trustworthy, persistent, um, you know, being loyal, steadfast. And uh, this is where, you know, and it could, again, be some Taurus uh, related field so it can be you know very positive for that and also in matters uh, you know with the dominant parent which is often uh, the father and authority figures well anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment until next time Edwin Learner saying stay well